In the middle of the 9th century, Edred retook Northumbria, ousted the remaining Norse leaders, and united England. Edred's successor, Edwig, however, proved unpopular after imposing high taxes, favouring Wessex, and undermining the church. So, clergy, notably St Dunstan, and the northern nobility, supported his brother Edmund the Peaceful as king. But in order to avoid a civil war, the two divided the country, with Edmund ruling the north. Edwig, however, died young in 959, and Edmund ruled relatively peacefully for 16 years, and was succeeded by his son, Edward the martyr. But Edward's stepmother, Aelfrith, had him killed and made her own son, Ethelred the Unready, king in 978. Meanwhile, in Scandinavia, Harald Bluetooth formed the Kingdom of Denmark in the 950s. And in Norway, the son of the deposed Eric Bloodaxe, Harald Greycloak, took the throne in 964 after a civil war. But Harald was killed in Denmark a few years later, and the Danes helped install Harkin Jarl as a vassal. But Olaf Tregfusen, whose father was killed by Harald Greycloak's forces, had managed to flee Norway to Norse-controlled Kiev and launched raids around the Baltic, and it is believed that he was the leader of the renewed Scandinavian assaults on Ethelred the Unready's England in 991. He won the Battle of Maldon and forced the English to pay a large amount of money for peace, but the raids continued. Olaf returned to Norway and seized the throne for himself in 995, but the new king of Denmark, Sven Sforkbeard, formed an alliance with Sweden and killed Olaf at the Battle of Svodr in 1000. Sven took over Norway and continued to make a great deal of money from England through continuous raids from their base in Normandy, which was ruled by the Scandinavian House of Normandy. But Ethelred forged an alliance with Robert II of Normandy by marrying off his sister Emma, and ordered that the Danes within England be killed in 1002. The following St. Bryce Day massacre angered Sven Svorkbeard, so he invaded in 1003, but a famine in Denmark forced him to return home. However, a Norse mercenary leader, Thorkel the Tall, also decided to invade England in 1009. His armies killed the Archbishop of Canterbury and raided many towns over the next couple years. But Sven Forkbeard decided to return to England in 1013, so Thorkel accepted a large payment to change sides. But when Sven arrived in Lincolnshire, most of the North submitted to his rule, and as he marched south, most towns followed suit. So Ethelred fled before Sven entered London and was crowned king in December 1013, just a couple of months after arriving in England. However, he died just a couple of weeks later and his son Knut took the throne. However, Ethelred took advantage of this transition, returned to England, reclaimed the throne, and persecuted the Danish sympathisers. However, this angered many, including his own son, Edmund Ironside, who rebelled against him. Meanwhile, Knut had readied his armies in Denmark and invaded in 1015 with 10,000 troops from across Scandinavia. He landed in Wessex late in the year, forcing the local nobility to switch sides and ravage the lands. Many other nobles, and even Thorkel the Tall, then switched sides and joined Knut as he marched north and took Northumbria. Meanwhile, Edmund and Ethelred made peace and united their armies to try to defend London, but Ethelred died in April 1016. Edmund therefore ruled for a short time before being defeated at the Battle of Assendon. As part of the peace, he handed over the north to Canute, but also agreed that Canute could inherit the whole kingdom if he died first. Edmund only ruled the south for a month before dying, and Canute became king of England and married Emma, Ethelred's widow. Canute went on to reclaim Norway from Olaf II, a descendant of Harald Fairhair, established vassals in Sweden, and forced Malcolm of Scotland to pay tribute, creating a North Sea Empire. But this empire collapsed when Knut died in 1035 and his sons divided it. Harold Harefoot ruled England while his eldest son, Harthur Knut, took Denmark and fought in Norway. Alfred Ethelin, the son of Ethelred the Unready, tried to reclaim the throne but was betrayed. However, Harold Harefoot died in 1040 and Harthur Knut was able to peacefully take over England, but he died in 1042 without an heir. His half-brother, Emma of Normandy's son, and an Englishman, Edward the Confessor, then took the throne of England. The new king of Norway in Denmark, Magnus the Good, wanted to invade England, but domestic troubles prevented him. And Magnus died in 1047, and his rivals divided Scandinavia. The grandson of Sven Forkbeard, Sven II, took Denmark, while Harald Hardrada took Norway. Both of these would try and claim the English throne when Edward died in 1066, and was succeeded by Harald Godwinson. Harald Hardrada tried first, but was defeated at Sanford Bridge, and after William the Conqueror took the throne of England, Sven II allied himself with the uncrowned English English King Edgar, but they were crushed by the Normans in 1069. So the Scandinavians failed to reclaim England and it fell under Norman control. And the other Norse kingdoms, like the Kingdom of the Isles and Dublin, would eventually collapse in the following decades. 